well, we're all happy to hear you tonight. Uh, Stan, are you semi ready? Oh, he's got his pizza. And, he's eating uh, pizza. Dance, <laughs> semi ready. Got a little rotation there. Good. So uh, this is the New Orleans Nighthawks Quartet tonight with two special guests. On tenor and clarinet, we have Terry Myers. Yeah. Oh, wait till you hear him. Wait till you hear him. Might not be that good. <laughs> and on tuba, I can guarantee it will be very good. Dan Howard. Yeah, Dan. Thank you, Joe, for setting up chairs. Uh, we're going to give you a reduced entrance fee from now on. Uh, well, we're going to play uh, a tune that I just have in mind when I thought of Terry. I mean, it's not the title. It, it's called Linger, Linger a While. There's no, no relationship there. No. Just, uh, and Mike, uh, have you got a story about uh, lingering a while? No. Oh, okay. I thought so. <laughs> That means he's not sure what to say next. Did you hear about the three-legged chicken? Now, give me a break on this. <laughs> Stephen Wright might have had something to do with it. I was driving along, and I see a three-legged chicken next to the car. Man, was he fast. He zoomed up in front in the alley. There was a farmer standing there. I said, hey, what is this three-legged chicken? He says, yeah, I raised them. He says, what, three legs? He says, yeah, everybody wants a leg. <laughs> And he says, how do they taste? I said, how do they taste? He says, I don't know. I never caught one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Was that yeah. as good as the one you had? <laughs> oh, I just have sad news in my case. It's my, my dad has had several seizures lately. Um, so far, they've seized his car, his boat, <laughs> and his house. <laughs> Like I said, you got in free, <laughs> and it's Lock. worth every penny. Lock the doors. Well, all right, let's play this Vincent Rose tune from 1923, and Terry's going to play tenor on this. It's called Linger a While. I'll play this harmony. Yeah. No. I think, I confirming we're starting with the verse. Yeah, we're not doing the verse. Oh. What's that? We're not. You want to do the verse? No. No. Oh. <laughs> We're not doing it. <laughs> All right. Bum, bum, bum. One, two, more. <laughs>
too hard. <laughs> uh, so this lady goes out to a farm and uh, she looks out in the field and she said, there's a cow with no horns. 
So many reasons. Some breeds, well, the farmer came out and he said, there's many reasons. Some breeds, you know, don't have horns. Some cows get rambunctious and they rub them off. Some call some called calves, but they drop acid where the horns used to be, so they don't grow them when they're calves. Oh. But the reason that cow doesn't have any horns is because it's a horse. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Oh. Uh, okay, I got a thumbs up. Okay, well, I got a thumbs up. Diana will pass among you, as it were, with a little donation box. And if you would like Terry to have enough money to get home today, uh, we'd appreciate if you put something in there. Anything at all, we'd appreciate it very much. With as many people as we got here, if probably if you put uh, 50 bucks each in, <laughs> we could get him home. Okay. While you're doing that. Yes, while you're doing that. Uh, you, you had a farm joke there. I grew up on a farm in Iowa, and um, I remember one of our neighbors married a, a, a city girl. Ooh. She really didn't know anything about the farm. But one day he had to run into town to get some feed, and he, uh, he says, look, the vet's coming out in a little while, and he's going to inseminate uh, one of our cows down there. And would you just tell him it's the one that's tied up to the third stanchion down there. That way he'll know which one it is. And uh, so he left, and pretty soon the veterinarian showed up and came up to the door, and she says, oh, I know what you're here for. You need to go to that one that's tied up to the third stanchion down there. And the vet was kind of a wise guy, and he goes, well, is there any significance to having the cow tied to the third stanchion? She says, well, I don't know. I guess that's, it's, he said it's the one with the hook on it. That's where you hang your pants. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, folks, again, I remind you, you got in for free. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay, we had a little musical discussion there, and uh, Terry's going to start this one. This is a Russian folk song. Russian. Russian. So don't be pushing the tempo too much. <laughs> I get it. Russian. Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Don't be a Russian. Uh, go back to your written <laughs> jokes, will you? Here's Dark Eyes.
So we're going to have Diana sing a song here that uh... <laughs> Oh, don't do that. She's going to want more money. <laughs> that, that's right. Add one more zero to the zero she's already got. Now, Diana and I both sing in the choir here at this church. This is our church. And uh, our choir director is right sitting right back here. And our organist and piano player is sitting right back here. So we have to be kind of careful what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when I try to sing. She says, wow, you don't sing like that in the choir. <laughs> Thank goodness. And Diana sings soprano. But I just want to point out, and she wanted me to mention, is there anybody here who likes to sing vocal music? We need basses, we need tenors. You're already in the choir. <laughs> Sign him up. You have too long a drive. <laughs> but we would like to have uh, some more of you join our choir. And uh, you could uh, sing some songs that are very similar to this one. Not. <laughs> <laughs> this is one uh, written by... Uh, a band of young musicians from New Orleans called Tuba Skinny. How many heard of Tuba Skinny? Oh, oh. Obviously, you people don't look at the internet. <laughs> They're all over the internet. And this is written by the vocalist. Uh, the title is So Long. And the words, my man, my man, he's so doggone mean. She's not singing it to me. I want you to get that straight. <laughs> So we'll play it through once first. Okay. Good luck, Terry. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay. <laughs> Great for me. A one. You ready? No. Okay, one. One for you. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking into that uh, mouthpiece and it comes out of this thing. <laughs> All right. Bum, ba, da, one. A two. A one.
was written in uh, 2010, so kind of recent for this band. <coughs> well, this next uh, tune, uh, I like very much one of my favorites of songs that we come up with recently. This was written in 1927, but not many people know this tune. It's called When I'm Blue. Now, I, I'm confessing this to you because I told Mike that I wanted to play it, and he says, you played it last time. I said, okay, I'm going to change it. We're going to play When I'm Green. <laughs> so listen to Mike's words on this one, and you'll get the whole picture on that. Uh, he asked me to write lyrics to When I'm Blue, and of course, when I'm sad, lonely, I'm blue, makes sense. So he calls me and says, yeah, write some different words to When I'm Green. What are you talking about? <laughs> and so I'm going to get him back. <laughs> That's it. Then stay on the chorus. I guess I needed to add that. Bum bum dun 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 da 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 da. Good little tune. One, a two, a one, a two. Thank you. 
My life was quite serene. I didn't have to rhyme with green. What's so bad about words that rhyme with blue? I rack my brain, I burst my spleen just to make things rhyme with green. Now I think I know just what I'll do. I'll stage a green rebellion and when I'm through, I'll make him write some lyrics that rhyme with orange. <laughs> then he won't be quite so keen to paint my words from blue to green. Maybe next time he won't be so mean. <laughs> We had the zoo joke earlier, Terry, but this is a tune uh, that he likes to think belongs in the zoo. The title is Gorilla of My Dreams. How about you start it? Can I play saxophone? Yeah, and you, and you play the melody to start. Oh, can you play tempo on this one? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to do it the first time? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Is this the one that I know? The <laughs> <laughs> one.
Thank you. 
going to start with tenor. Right. Dun, dun, dun. One, a two. Thank you. 
we're going to Diana come up and sing one here now. We're going to cut this one a little short. I got a little carried away on the first set. And uh, so we're going to get Diana to sing one, and we'll do a couple more. Call it a night. And I do have two little trad players left. And I'll feel really bad if I have to take them home. I might even give them away. No, I don't think so. I just want to tell you, I don't make any profit at $20. That's, that's really just to get it, the music out there. I buy them from the Chinese for, well, they used to be $16, $15. They're now $17. And then the little music cards I put in there are another two and a half bucks. So it gets it up to about 19 Then I have to print the paper so you get the idea. All right, so we're going to do a pretty little tune here. Uh, Diana's going to sing. And uh, maybe you can sing this one to me if you'd like. Uh, it's called It Had to Be You. Without the verse. No, let's play the verse. With the verse. Oh, we're going to do the verse? Yeah, yeah, once. Is that how we cut it short? Okay. He has his own plan. We're going to cut the tuba solo. <laughs> All right. So we'll play it all the way through once before you say
Cut it short, we got a half a tuba chorus. <laughs> it was the good half, that's right. Well, here's a tune by Ted Florio with the lyrics by Gus Kahn. Wrote some great lyrics, if I could find them. What is the name of this tune? Oh. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> I know we're running short of time, but I love this tune, so I'm going to play it. I never knew. Uh, so how about I'll play the first one okay. with the rhythm section. Then you join me, oh. and we'll go to uphill from there. Okay. okay. You playing the verse, you say? <laughs> there is no verse. Oh, thank you. You scared me because I don't see any verse on here. <laughs> You can play the verse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. One, two, one, two. <laughs> Thank you. 
what a summer breeze could say. I never knew that dreams came true and took your cares away. Believe me, I never knew what a love could do till I met you. Night, everybody thanks so much for coming out and uh, we'll see you the 17th right here 17th of February dump your chairs around the corner if you would not mind and good night <laughs>